right, didn't see you guys there. Today, let's look at um, maybe working on a Scania T cab and show you some bits and bats of that. So, I'm currently in loft, shit all. But uh, we're going to find you basically my chassis rails for the Scania. But it's all here. Just looks a bit awkward to get to. All my Scania parts are out there in my bedroom because that's where I'm working at the minute. Because, uh, yeah, as you can see. It's ain't practical at the minute. Just not practical. So, Scania. So basically, we're starting out with your ordinary Tamiya Scania kit. And this I'm working on the four wheeler, not the six wheeler. I suppose it doesn't really matter what you use It's all down to preference whether you prefer six wheeler or four wheeler The actual construction of the cab is the same And then how you'd build up your chassis is the same as you'd do a chassis anyway Might just be easier if we go to a bedroom Rather than trying to pull all this crap out And let's try and work from where T cab is So, I'll be back in a mole Boom, saw the bedroom Loft ain't really practical, as I said. There's just too much crap in there at the minute. Needs sorting out, big time. So, I've got a nice little table in the corner of my bedroom. Wife is super pissed off about it, because if you can see in the top corner there, you see, all the wardrobes is just full of RC stuff. Under this table, it's full. Behind me, it's full. You see the drawers in that wardrobe? They've got me tools in. It has to be done. What else am I going to build? It's all about being organised. And to be quite frank, this isn't organised for me. <laughs> I can't work like this. Hence there not being much videos recently. Last year just ended up going a bit downhill for me. So I'm trying to get into it, trying to get my spirit back, trying to build. And I just bring it to rooms where I felt comfortable at the time. And it just didn't work out. So I'm going to get on and uh, get my loft sorted back out. Then I can keep you guys in boring videos, listening to me all day long. I started this with your Tamiya, the R470 Scania. Now I went up the loft to uh, try and get my chassis rails, because I think I still have the original chassis rails for this Scania. Now the chassis rails which are actually used on this T-cab are uh, 8cm longer than the standard rails. And basically that's just to take for the bonnet and the bit to mount the bonnet to and the cab. Now at the time when I picked up this T-cab, well I didn't actually pick up the T-cab. I'd bought the kit off a friend, a Tamiya kit. And it just so happened he had some rails as well that he'd pre-drilled <laughs> to build the T-cab. I decided, yeah go on I'll have it, I'll have a do. And I've enjoyed it so far. I'm going to just give you a little run over some bits on what's what uh, and see if we can't help any of you guys who might be wanting to build a Scania T cab and see if I can't give you some tips and pointers because a lot of people say they are a pain in the ass. But it's not a case of it's a pain in the ass, it's like a lot of things, it just requires patience. It's not a pain in the ass. If you're a patient man or woman, then it's not a problem, but if you're impatient and stuff, then yeah, it's probably end up gonna go through your window or something. So, I'm just gonna move this GoPro because I've got one of these funky things, right? And it sits on your head, <laughs> but it's great because then it gives me my hands. So, I'm gonna just now put this little session five on here, uh, put this on my head so I can use my hands, not get in the way of the camera, and yeah, go through. I'm sorry I'm uh, talking a lot of crap, but I'm excited. I haven't spoke to the camera on the RC Trucking UK channel for quite a long time now, and I miss it. And I miss you guys, I miss the comments. So I'm just looking to get back into it, get building again, because my spirit's high. 2017 is going to be my year. Ain't no one putting me down this year, or ever again. Here we go, one GoPro strapped to my Swede. What the hell are you beeping at? 
Oh, it's the one on my head beeping. I see. It's taking pictures. It's voice activated, this thing. But uh, the other good thing is all the shooting modes. Now, I've got this in linear mode. A lot of you won't know what that is. But basically, looking through this one that you're looking at now, you'll see a wide perspective because this has a fisheye lens. This also has a fisheye lens, but it also has a mode called linear mode. So it kind of directly what we're looking at. So it's just some pointless crap. Right. So the T cab. Now nothing's actually in place on this yet. So there's the roof. Just drilled some parts for some little air horns and that. Uh, got the light bar. Now they're available from Phil Oaks. Phil Oaks makes those. They are fantastic. You can see. They're all metal. On the cab, put in some mirrors. Some Verkirk mirrors. And on the rear here, some Philberg stacks. Some good exhaust. And the bonnet which is available from Jerome and the cab I've got on a release lock there that just give me a good height in working out when I was building it and there's the cab now the difference between this cab and a normal Scania cab is it's being cut here can you see? Can you guys see in there? I don't know if you can see. I ain't got a clue. But we've cut straight along and normally the cab will drop down there. So yeah, the T cab kit from Jerome. So it comes with everything necessary to build up a Scania T cab. Got all these parts here. So like your steps which go outside at skirts. Uh, bits for under your cab door hence cutting the cab you also get your bonnet um, facelift grill now this is made from resin but I can assure you this will be the highest quality resin tea cab kit you can buy on the market now there's loads of people doing these and there's loads of people making a right mess of doing them as well. That's because they just ain't got the quality that Jerome has. Now I can tell you hundreds of people who have had kits from Jerome. And not one person is dissatisfied. But like I said I'll put that link in the window. In the video. Wherever. Now I'm going for the four wheeler. Most people tend to go for a six wheeler with a top line roof. So I'd like to be a bit different and have just a plain four wheeler, no top line roof and also no aerofoil kit and you know the wings at the back etc. None of that, just a plain cab. It's just my preference, it's what I like and it's all down to personal choice, that's why the hobby is such a good thing. We're all different, we're all unique individuals, we all have our own tastes. And that's just my preference. And the colour is going to be the blue on my Scania and my Mercedes, which still is unfinished by the way. <laughs> I'm down to all electrics, but I'm not really like an electrical person. I just like building and painting and things. So, uh, yeah, that's, there we go, find it in here. So my tea cab will be going that blue. I've sprayed the chassis gun metal. Let's have a look at this chassis. We'll come back to that cab in a minute. I say this video is pretty, probably going to sound unorganised, and that's because I'm unorganised. If I was organised, you'd get an organised video. So, oops, see what I mean? It's not good, it's not good. I'll put you guys back on the tripod. 
it, it just feels so surreal with it on my head. It's good for driving point of views and things, but I don't know how I feel while I'm looking around and trying to find stuff. Someone's telling me that I'm going to be woo, all over the place and you ain't going to have seen anything I've just been talking about. So as I explained at the beginning of this terrible video, these rails have been extended by 8 centimetres, 80 millimetres. To extend you are going to need blank chassis rails and you are going to need to drill and re-tap your chassis. Now if you're alright at drilling and tapping that's not a problem and as for knowing where to put your holes that's not a problem either. It's exactly the same. So if you was... These are 6x4 rails so what you do is you just mark up all the front from the front half of your chassis and basically put that to the front of your blank rails drill, tap and literally go from the rear and take that up to the rear of your rails copy it, you know, mark it out, drill it, tap it you will be left with a gap in the middle where you haven't put the holes but the, it's all different anyway to what the 6x4 and the 4x2 scanner is anyway so you'd have to redrill that different depending on what your preferences would be whether you'd be having tanks, locker boxes there will also be people out there that could have these made up for you or you could just go I suppose with the 6x4 rail and do it all on that but then you end up with it all looking a bit squishy don't look right now knowing where to put the cab at first before I ever put my cab on I did have the bonnet held just in place so I knew how much room I had to go back and then I drilled that bracket onto the chassis to then take the cab and so everything else is just the same you just build up the rear as you build up your truck build up the front as you build up your truck and then that bit is kinda down to your imagination so all you're doing with the cab is we're cutting the bottom off which I've already done I should have really done all this with you but you get the gist we're just going along that line and then trying to keep it as straight as possible so it meets up with this right so once you've got your um, cab in place it's just a case of lining up the bonnet which then is easy if you have a bright light as you can see all the front is just built up how you would build up an ordinary truck kit I'm still to put my dampers on that's because I've sprayed this chassis gunmetal grey because all my fleet's gunmetal and blue but with this one going all blue I thought I'd give it a gunmetal chassis just breaks it up a bit um, so yeah the bonnet now I've used the fixings that you would normally mount the front of the cab to so for example, I've just put the bonnet there, whereas normally your cab would be mounted and then your cab will tilt, your cab's being sat back. So I use one of these cab clips and it gave me the perfect height of what I need for the cab. And then these, surely enough, just sit on these pips on the floor tray in the truck and it's perfect. So you get the right height with a cab, everything. So really, all you need to do is line up your bonnet. You would take your bonnet, obviously yours won't be bolted on yet. Now this is where bright light is handy. The uh, hinges, have them lifted up, so you can hold them like the back of the bonnet, flat against it. And with a bright light behind it, You'll be able to see the holes from the hinges, so you'll be able to uh, mark out to drill. Now, I did that. Let me just pop this cab back on here. Should have gone for a more blue Peter style with a shunner. And here's one I made earlier. Here's this. Here's this. That. 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 And have a whole process of them. That'd be a whole lot easier. But then that cost a hell of a lot of money just to do that, wouldn't it? 
So yeah, the cab's on there now, as you can probably not see. But it is sat on these uh, lips of floor tray. So for lining up the bonnet, all I did, once you've uh, cut your cab and you've put that on in place, I started faffing about then with my bonnet and so that line I clip right there. So there, as you can see, in the tea cab. Oops. I need to make a hinge just to clip this onto there in place. But uh yeah. You just mess about holding your bonnet where you think and then once you've got your bonnet so it appears lined up or the best it can look for yourself. Using the light behind then uh, appears through. So then you mark up, drill. And as I said, same process of when you put your cab on. But you're just mounting your bonnet. Uh, the other parts that come in it, like I say, facelift grill. These are all resin. Now I haven't bothered sticking these in or anything yet because I don't know if I'm going to stick with this facelift grill or chop up the ordinary grill and fit that in there. Also the arches will need to be cut so I'll end up taking them off and that's just so when you get your steps under. Oops. It, you just get the room then. There's plenty of accessories for this one. I've got my light bars, I've got some like rear light Suzy bars, rear bumper bar, rear light bar. I've got a bumper bar underneath which lights up for it. Uh, some of my interior. The window deflectors are also from the Kirk. Amber flashing beacons for the roof, centre caps again from the Kirk for the rear wheels. So now it's just really a case of getting on and getting it built up. But as I'm doing bits, I'll do the videos with you and then you'll get a better idea. Like I say, I'm just totally unorganised at the minute, so this is probably the most unorganised video I've ever made. You probably won't follow it, but I'll hopefully give you a little idea and uh, yeah <laughs> happy are seeing and if you need any help or advice uh, feel free to join my Facebook group which is also Scotty555 babe RC Trucking UK uh, you can like my Facebook page and notify you of um, my videos and stuff when they're coming out and there'll also be merchandise going up on there soon part of my uh, range of bits and bats not truck accessories but like you know beanie hats and I'm um, looking into having some slippers made so you guys can wear your trucking slippers on the layouts instead of your shoes mm -hmm. that'd be much better wouldn't it see unorganised I can't even think what I'm saying what was I on about then yeah 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 facebook page facebook group like it join it and also, uh, yeah, give me a subscribe. Yeah, I could just talk to you guys all day long at the minute. I'm more in a babbly mood, you know, I just want to waffle on. Shall we talk about the weather? Forget the weather, it's crap. Anyone watch soaps? Me neither. This ain't working either, because I don't seem to be getting much feedback. Uh, just leave your comments down below. I do my best to try and respond to the lot of yous. Just uh, take care, have fun, happy RCing, happy building, and uh, catch you in the next video soon. Ciao for now, guys.